Hello, it's Mary Lou here, and I have a journal to share. This is not a journal that I'm putting up for sale. This is one I've made for a cousin, a dear cousin of mine, who lives far away, uh, and I don't see, I haven't seen her since 2012, I think it was, was the last time I saw her. So, 10 years. Anyway, um... Uh, she has done so many things for, I mean, she's just, she's a giver. And so it just hit me that I need to send her something sweet and special. And so I thought about this. I asked her if she'd be interested. And she said, yes, she would love to write her memories down. So um, this is Lala's journal. I also made her an art journal. And I'll show you that in a minute. But let's show you this first. Uh, I'll take off the tie. It's just some pretty sparkly, floofy stuff that I found that I had in my stash. This journal measures eight and three quarters by five and a half. Oh, excuse me, no, eight and a half by five and three quarters. Sorry, I'm looking at the art journal. It has three signatures and um, 98 plus plus because there are two good size booklets in there with lots of paper. I made it a chipboard cover for her. All the images that I use, the digital images, and they are all digital images, um, are from Amity Bloom. So let me take you. I didn't name her. It's just Lala's journal. My cousin Laura has gone by the name Lala for many years, and so it's Lala's journal. Okay. There's a pocket here on the front, if I can get it out, with a very large tag or card. I loved this image because it reminded me of my grandma's garden, and it's her grandma too, so I'm hoping she'll make that connection. Here are three tags. Actually, there's a postcard too, and it says, all the leaves are brown and the skies are gray. I've been for a walk on a winter's day. I'd be safe and warm if I was in LA, California dreaming on such a winter's day. Laura and I were both raised in Southern California. Um, our mothers were sisters. That's how we're cousins. And uh, very close. So anyway, I, this just brought, and then again, this picture too reminds me of Grandma's garden. Grandma Mary, a pocket full of memories. I used Stella. Stella, it's called Stella. <laughs> I, I shined up some of the flowers with a little bit of glitter. Stella, something or other. Yeah, it just never comes to mind. I put one of these clips on there. And in here is a large pocket. I didn't put anything in it so she can put in her memories. That's what she said she wanted to use it for. On this side, there is a, park, a, a postcard that says today's recipe for happiness. So there, I'm wanting this to be a very happy journal for Laura. Did some stenciling and there is tea dyed paper. Did some stamping. This is a book, a rose book page, beautiful rose page. There's some graph paper. And on this side, I cut up these sheets that were pages and made them sheets for her to write on. Make sure I don't crinkle something over here. Okay. Um, in this pocket, there are some tags. This reminded me of California and vintage. It looks so vintage to me. Her, She and I are both vintage. She's a year younger than I am. And, uh, yeah, we used to have some fun times together, even though we didn't. We lived, I think, probably about an hour apart, 45 minutes to an hour. But So we'd see each other sometimes.
Over here is a pocket. Some more daisies and a scene from California. Not the part we grew in, up in, but where we used to go camping. There's a, I, I made this in my computer and upsized it because I wanted a bigger one. I didn't realize it was going to be quite that big. I didn't look at the size, just made it big. But it fits perfectly there. I put, put a beautiful applique on here. I didn't doll this up a lot. I did, like I said, stamping and stenciling. But I didn't doll it up a lot except for the the little bit of ink I of uh sparkle I put on here and there. The rest of that page. Here's a Rita Donnelly flip. Inside, there are two little, a ticket and a, a pretty little card. And then back here's two tags. another big envelope for her to put memories in. Or notes. There's the other side of that signature. My grandma's house didn't look like that cottage, but it still reminded me of grandma's house. And then going on, it's a large pocket here where I put a big envelope and a card. I embossed this a tea stained page so you can see that it's embossed and debossed or whatever they call it. There's a pocket with a little bit of pink lace and some tags and cards. It's a large tag back here. Another page from my rose, one of my rose books. I loved these pink and blue pages, and I put some stamps on here. Here's some more postcards. So they're they're postcard sized anyway, whether they're postcards or not. They're big. So she's got lots of places to write memories. Here's parchment paper. <clears throat> Here's another little pocket, <clears throat> excuse me, that I put three little cards here and I'm squish them back in. This, this clip is really tight. There we go. And on this side, I just put that little card. Here's another pocket. There's a card there, and then here's one of the booklets that I included for her. And it's just got a variety of papers and flips, flip papers and different sizes. Yep, that's one of them. I'm going to add a little bit of lace. Elizabeth was our great grandma's name. My mom, our grandma Mary's mom's name was Elizabeth, spelled that way too. Anyway, so I thought that was cool that it was in this kit. Some more lace. Another pocket with a card. And a little tag and another envelope and this one does have some a card in it well one or two there's the other side of that embossed page or that might be the first one on this in this signature I made a little tuck spot with these little flowers that, and I did some, oh, what do you call this that you, it's, oh gosh, I don't remember the names of things anymore, sorry folks. Oh gosh, it's glossy accents, I put some glossy accents here. 
I didn't use a lot of it in the book, but I like that. And that I, I embossed that as well. Might make her a little, a little harder for her to write on it, but it's still pretty. And there it says Lala's Creative Journal. And it gives a color palette. Here's a couple of tags or cards. And here's a tag and a card. And I like that um, there are lots of sayings throughout this book. I added stamps with more, but it's still, it's pretty. Old Garden Roses. Yes. I love these French doilies, especially on something like that. There's another pocket with an envelope. Empty. And a card. Here's a little card with it, or a tag, a little pocket with her initial on it. And here's another one of the, it's a belly band. And here's a book filled with papers for her again with a little bit of lace on the side here. Here's another pocket. There's another large tag, a postcard and a label. And there's some more places. Here's a page done in mostly greens little bit of blue thrown in. I put a little pocket on this page with a tag and a card. Look at that beautiful page of roses. I printed this out twice and put that on with some a little bit of washi tape with roses. So she's got a double spot to write on there. And this is, it says that it was made by me, but I made it a pocket so she can put some more stuff in there if she wants to. So that's the journal. Now I'll quickly show you the art journal I made her. It's really simple. I used this to tie it with. I made this out of a heavy duty file folder and it measures eight and three quarters by five and a half. It's one signature. And it again says Lala's Creative Journal. There's a couple of things for her. This one is very colorful. And I liked it that way for an art journal. There's a tag. And then I just put several sheets of mixed media paper that she can use. I cut up some pieces so she can do some smaller pieces of artwork in this pocket. There's so there's two there's one signature but it's got pockets here and there and it's got all this mixed media paper for her to do something on if she has if she isn't already doing stuff she can maybe she'll try. Maybe she'll start to do it. I love creating and so I'm hoping she does too. And then here's a couple of little cards and tags. I fussy cut on that one because it was so pretty. And again, her name is here. And then again, I, I signed and, and left it as a pocket so she could put something in there if she wants to. So that's that. And those are the two things I made for her. Thank you for stopping by to take a look. I won't post this video until after I know she's received this. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.